here on SABC News. We're doing something uh, quite different than this uh, afternoon. Well, the man who scored the opening goal of the 2010 FIFA World Cup, Simpure Chabalala, is uh, doing the right thing. He's uh, getting uh, vaccinated and uh, he's doing it actually right here on our premises, uh, SABC uh, premises. Uh, they're live now uh, with SABC Sport. We'll take you right there live and uh, ask the team from SABC Sport to take over at this point as they have that conversation with him the right thing and taking the jab. Why did you decide to take the jab? Um, you know, um, I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, in the beginning, I was very hesitant about uh, taking it, you know, until I did my own research and I consulted, you know, we, with the experts, those that are in the medical space and um, health sector as well. Mm. And, you know, I just took a decision that it's the right thing to do. Mm. You know, I'll be saving my life uh, and those of my loved ones and uh, everyone as well. Now, Sister Lorraine Toka is going to be doing the administration of that uh, vitally important injection. Uh, he's taking the J&J &J yes. vaccine today. Now, there are two major vaccines in the country, J&J &J and Pfizer. Sister Lorraine, what is the difference between the two? Because... Sometimes you're walking there not knowing the information with regards to which uh, injection I'm, will I be taking today. What is the major difference in your opinion? Um, the major difference between the two vaccines, just to keep it simple, mm. uh, the Johnson & Johnson, you get one shot uh, and then the Pfizer, we're giving two shots. Uh, both vaccines are, are good. So that's basically the, besides going into scientific um, uh, information. Yeah. The one has got two and the one is just one. Dr. Nicola, uh, Nick, Dr. Travis Nicola, uh, thank you so very much for joining us, Chair of the uh, Business Source of Africa. We know you for, for uh, your antics in crickets, but today speaking on a medical basis and also getting sport back on the fields. And that's the most important thing that we're trying to do at the moment. But there's a lot of misconceptions with regards to the, the vaccine in South Africa. A large portion of the male population don't want to take the vaccine. What are those misconceptions that we hear about and that we should, you know, discount completely and say, listen, guys, this is the facts. We can't be listening to misinformation with regards to the vaccine. Owen, firstly, thanks very much for having me in studio. Uh, there is probably nothing more important we can do this year as, as South Africans and globally as a community than to get vaccinated. Hmm. Uh, we've seen the impact on the economy, on lives. People are distressed mental health issues and as you correctly said when we look around the world Springboks played two weeks ago empty stadium mm. I then switched the channel I watched Liverpool Norwich <laughs> full stadium 40,000 so we need to get back to a semblance of normality the best way to do that is we need to vaccinate as many South Africans as swiftly as possible so that we can get to epidemiological containment mm. as we call it now let me answer your question directly there's, there's been some concerns amongst the male population, particularly the younger population, that this might cause infertility. There is absolutely no scientific evidence whatsoever that this causes any infertility, erectile dysfunction or any other associated conditions. Mm -hmm. What I can tell you, however, Owen, is that if you contract COVID, okay, the chances of having some of those complications that I've just spoken about mm -hmm. can manifest. So in other words, just put very simply, the vaccine won't give you sterility or infertility, mm. but COVID can cause erectile problems down the line. Mm. So that's what we have to weigh up here. Mm. Sister, you're going to start preparing the, the vaccine there, and we're going to be injecting our legend in studio here shortly. Mm. He can be taking his hand or arm out of the sleeve there because he needs to put it in his left arm, obviously. Uh, Sibir, with one. regards to this, you're not left-handed or right-handed. Which one? Uh, firstly, you are right-handed, I'm assuming? Left. Left? Left. left. Well, we're putting Everything in the left. left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you're putting it in the left arm anyway. So, I mean... You're taking the J&J &J today. It was a choice that you made. You wanted J&J. &J. &J. The reason for that? Yeah, I think it was a choice that um, I made. And I felt that I just wanted to take, you know, one chip. Mm. And, then, and then that's it. <laughs> you look a bit nervous. Why are you nervous? <laughs> You're in good hands. Sister Lorraine is about I'm, to I'm, administer I'm that. I'm scared of the needle. Yeah. Uh, so you mustn't look at I me. I know it's a, it's so a look bit, at me. It's look a at bit me. painful. Yeah. You know, but it's, it's better to feel this pain than to lose a loved one. Absolutely. And then, obviously, the guys are playing football at the moment in uh, empty stadiums. 
and the needle's already gone in, and uh, Sister Lorraine is about to put it through, and it and is in, done. done and dusted, no that problem at all. I thought so, it wasn't painful, well, was it? Well, well done. There well we go, done. let's give him a round of applause, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Shalala, is fully vaccinated now. The guys playing <laughs> behind empty call? stadiums, this affects them tremendously. The game is not the same for them, um, playing behind empty stadiums, not having fans there. How important is it? that the players get vaccinated and the public at large also get this vaccine in order to return to some normality. I think as, a, as, as sports people, you know, we, we do envy um, the European countries, you know. Um, I mean, just yesterday I was watching the EPL, you know, um, the stadium was full to capacity, the atmosphere, you know, and it shows, you know, the, 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 the role that the 12 men play on, the, on, you know, on, the, on these games. Mm. And uh, it's just unfortunate that, you know, as much as um, football has, has resumed in South Africa, you know, there's still no fans, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, and I'm truly optimistic that, you know, as if you can uh, take the job yeah. as many as we can, yeah. and then it will enhance our chances of, of you know, uh, having fans mm -hmm. to, to come and watch. Um, what, what's, what's your message to the fans? I mean, there are 60 million South Africans out there. And obviously, all of us want to see yourself playing football, the rest of the teams playing football, and Bafana Bafana playing football in front of capacity fans. So what would your message be to the fans? I think all of us have been affected, you know, by, by, by the pandemic. And we, we want to go back to, you know, um, the normal way. And, and for us to go back to the normal ways to, mm. um, you know, get the vaccine and take care of ourselves and try not to um, mis misinform others with the information, with uh, the negative information. You know, let's teach one another the, the right way mm. and the importance of, of, of taking the mm. vaccine that, you know, you're not only saving yourself, but um, other lives as well. Dr. Savros Nikolai, we uh, haven't got much time left, but in terms of the vaccine rollouts at the moment, we only a portion of the way there. How much more do we need to go still to get the whole society vaccinated or even get herd immunity, if, as we've heard from some of the scientists out there? So, uh, firstly, let me congratulate uh, Shaba for what he's just done. Okay? He's joined the, the 12 million South African club. Uh, so we've got, today we broke 12 million uh, vaccines. That's a single dose of vaccine. Mm. We need to get to around 38 million fully vaccinated South Africans by the end of December. We are chasing the clock. In cricket terms, we, we're chasing down a total. Mm. The mm. total's 38 million. We had uh, roughly 12 million first dose. We need to continue vaccinating at around three to 350,000 patients per day on a sustainable basis over the next four months and then we can get there. We get there, we can resume some form of normality, do all the things we enjoy watch, uh, doing. Watching Shaba play in the stadiums, uh, hugging loved ones, going out to restaurants, etc. Mm. I'm not saying that the pandemic's going to go away early next year. It's not, but it's all about containing the, con the pandemic so we can get back to some form of normality. Mm. And the fact that a, a patriotic South African like Shaba today has come forward and sent a very powerful message is going to assist us immensely in meeting that 38 million target this year. Dr. Safras Nikolai, thank you so much for your time. Thanks. Shaba, congratulations, well done. Uh, and your, I think this is probably your biggest goal. <laughs> yeah. You rank it up there against, you know, against Mexico, having the jab. Which one did you take? The jab is more important than the goal against Mexico? World Cup? Both. I think, <laughs> I think you know, um, I always say that my, my greatest legacy will be the lives that I've touched. Yeah. And, you know, I continue uh, touching as many lives as I can uh, through my foundation. Mm -hmm. And the step that I took today, it's a, it's a big step as well, you yeah. know, doing the right thing and also encouraging many people to, to do the right thing. The legendary Sabiba Shabalala, thank you so much. And continue spreading, spreading the good message and getting everybody vaccinated. Uh, Sister Lorraine, thank you so much also thank for administering so such a, a painless injection into the <laughs> legend's arm as well today. So there we go. Sabiba Shabalala is fu fully vaccinated with the J&J &J vaccine against COVID-19. If you want to do your part for South Africa, please go out there, register for your vaccine, go to your nearest vaccination site and get the vaccine. Whether it's J&J &J or Pfizer, it doesn't matter.
better. All right. Uh, thanks very much to our colleagues then at uh, SABC Sport uh, for sharing that uh, particular broadcast uh, with us. Pua Chabalala, uh, our famous footballer here, uh, Bafana Bafana footballer, uh, taking his uh, jab, his vaccine live on air at the SABC Sport uh, studios uh, this afternoon.